Hi, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math's Problem of the Week. This week, the problem is simplify negative 1 plus i square root 3 over 2 to the 6 plus negative 1 minus i square root 3 over 2 to the 6 um, to form of a plus bi and then find its sum. <coughs> so to begin, what we're going to want to do is actually break up um, these different terms into two different fractions. So we can change the first term into negative 1 over 2 plus i square root 3 over 2 to the 6th. And we can do the same thing with the second term. Um, and what we'll notice here is that we can actually turn this into different cosine and sine um, terms just because we know that cosine is equal to negative 1 half at this point and sine is equal to square root 3 over 2 at this point. So So we know that cosine of 2 pi over 3 is equal to negative 1 half, and sine of 2 pi over 3 is equal to uh, square root 3 over 2. We also know that cosine of uh, 4 pi over 3 is equal to negative 1 half as well, and sine of 4 pi over 3 is equal to square root 3 over 2, negative square root 3 over 2. And what we can do is substitute those in um, to the different parts of this equation. And what we come out with is cosine of 2 pi over 3 plus i sine 2 pi over 3 to the 6 plus cosine over 4 pi um, over 3 plus i sine 4 pi over 3 to the 6. And um, what we can do now is apply de Moivre's uh, theorem, which if you don't know it, I can write it down over here. So de Moivre's theorem says that cosine x plus i sine x to the k is also equal to cosine kx plus i sine kx. That's kind of the simplified version. The other version has a r um, on the outside multiplying this full term. And what just happens is that we pull out an r to the k um, times kind of the same result as above. So we're going to be using this simpler one um, to simplify this full term using it each for each term. So one's here for the first term and one's here for the second term. So what we come out with is cosine 6 times 2 pi over 3 plus i sine 6 times 2 pi over 3 plus cosine 6 times 4 pi over 3 plus i sine uh, 6 times 4 pi over 3. And then we can simplify that just by reducing the fractions um, within this. And we get cosine 4 pi plus i sine 4 pi plus cosine 8 pi um, plus i sine 8 pi. And what you'll notice is that these two terms actually go to 0. So what we're left with is cosine 4 pi plus cosine 8 pi. And both of these terms actually go to 1. So what we end up with is that the sum of um, the full equation from above is actually equal to 2. Um, so that's all we have for you today for this week's problem of the week. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please check out some more of our videos on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thank you.